How's it going guys? It's Rock Band Luigi and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time we started off World 2 and got a good amount of stars actually. Uh we got oh yeah, we also got the new rock power up. That was that was fun. I liked it. I liked using that. And uh did Puzzle Plank Galaxy, we got uh Bugaboom. Bugaboom came back from the first game. And uh in this part we're gonna be uh, continuing on with World 2. There are two new galaxies that we unlocked, so we're gonna be uh testing those out. And uh, before we get started, though, please be sure to hit that like button, though. It really helps out a lot. We're going to be shooting for uh, 20 likes again. But uh, if my parts uh, start, like, maybe breaking 25 likes or more from now on, then I'm going to ante up the like goal to 25 likes. Because right now, only parts 1 and 2 are public at the time I'm recording this. And uh, part, part 1, as of now, when I recorded this, actually broke 50 likes, which I'm very, very grateful for. And, uh... Part, part two is almost at 30, but, uh, we just got another letter from Peach, usually. Since, since the mail tote, uh, came aboard, we usually get, uh, those kinds of letters just about, uh, every time we, uh, start up the game. But, uh, anyway, let's just, uh, shove off to the new galaxy, shall we? Or one of the new galaxies, I should say. This is gonna start us off on the grand world map. Grab some star bits for sure, for sure. How much does that give us, anyway? Like, eight or so? Uh, oh, we have a Hungry Luma also. I know uh, which galaxy that takes us to. Uh, we can either go to Cosmic Cove or Wild Glide. Wild Glide has a, pre a pretty cool mechanic that's kind of underused in the game, so I think I'm going to go here, actually. Let's shove off. And the Comet Metal is actually kind of tricky to get in this one, which I'll uh, be able to show you guys in just a sec. But uh, let's get started off. Fluzzard's First Flight. Bam. The mechanic that they use in this is uh, pretty similar to the uh, mechanic, the uh, manta ray mechanic, the surfing manta ray from uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1. It's kind of similar to that, only you're not uh, on water. But uh, I think what we have to do is talk to this guy. I think it's this guy. Fluzzard, Fluzzard, he can't fly so well, and he's shy, so shy, but he seems okay with you. Maybe he'll even carry you and glide. Yeah, I guess Fluzzard is okay with us. Come on, come on, I'll teach you to glide. You want to fly with Fluzzard? Let's glide. Fluzzard is the uh, giant-ass pink bird, if you couldn't tell, by the way. <laughs> glide! We glide! Okay, it's kind of cool. I like this mechanic, because we're, like, hanging from his feet. Okay, okay, here's how to glide. Okay, keep it level like that. You gotta keep your Wii Remote flat. That's the starting position. And turn left. You gotta tilt. Like that. See, it's... Basically, it's literally the exact same controls as, um, the surfing manta ray. Liter literally the exact same controls, only this time you're in midair. And as you can see, the comma metal is encased. And, uh, to get the comma metal, it, it's kind of tough. What you have to do is, you see those gates right there? You have to, uh, fly, there's uh, five of them, I think? You have to fly through all of them. And it gets really tough, you know? There's another Fluzzer Galaxy later on the game... Where the gates are really, really tough to fly through, in my opinion, so... Good luck. See, th this really isn't... This really is not that difficult. You just have to aim up to slow down, aim down to go faster. I think A button might actually do something, too. I'm not exactly sure. No, I don't think A does anything. Uh, try not to run into anything, because you actually do take damage from your actual Mario health bar. Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay, I might have to come back. For the common metal. There, I couldn't get that. I was tilting up as much as possible. He couldn't couldn't get it. I think what they wanted us to do was start off really low and then fly up at the last second so then we could uh, get high enough. But see, that's what I mean with the common metals. You know, even this this level right here, it's just hard to get through those damn gates. It's see, so watch. We'll get through four. See, the common metal's still enclosed. So there's, there's nothing we can do. But we beat the uh, time of 1:30 at least. Sorry about that. I guess we'll come back and I'll get the common medal. You flew, you flew. Even Fluzzard looks happy. Happy. Here, take this. Nice flying. Thank you very much, sir. But we need to come back and get the common medal, unfortunately. Ba, ba, na, 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 ba, na, 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 boom. Down, down, da, na, da, da. We have to come back for the common medal. Uh, yes, I finally, finally got it. Oh my lord, guys, that took. Much longer than it should have. Oh my gosh. I didn't know. What you had to do is go through that area, that path that had the one up, and then just stay high. I. I 
My lord, that was insane. I really hope I can get the Comet Medal here now. I don't fuck up. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Got it. Thank the lord. Oh, my god. We got a slower clear time, but I don't even care. We'll still get the power start. My god. I thought, I thought what you had to do is, like, dive down and then, uh, push yourself back up. But you just had to go through that one-up path and just stay high. It's... That took much longer than it should have. But finally, we got the goddamn Comet Metal. Oh, my lord. Alright guys, but here we are at the new galaxy, which is Cosmic Comb, Cosmic Cove Galaxy, sorry. Twin Falls Hideaway. This mission is really, really, really short. This actually has, this galaxy has uh, two main missions and a secret mission. Which I'll be all showing off in a row, I guess. The uh, coin lumen, this really wants a low amount of coins, I think, though, I remember. I think it only wants, like, 10 or 15. It's really, really something low. But I think this is the first time we're actually going, we're swimming underwater, I think. This actually might be the first time, so, uh, let's grab ourselves a Koopa Shell, because Koopa Shells allow us to, uh, swim a lot faster. And, uh, though his enemies are Snoodles, as, uh, as you can see, the, uh, Koopa Shells are light. You just have to flash the light on the Snoodles, and then they die. And they give a decent amount of star points as well, or star bits, rather. Uh, I think if we shoot ourselves up in here, we'll get some star bits. Yes, let's get them all. Get them all. Don't miss any. Don't miss any. Don't miss any. We missed some, didn't we? Yep. Okay. Uh, let me swim over here. Ah, there we go. Swimming's really easy. I mean, it's really not that hard. Koopa, Koopa shells makes it. Koopa shells make it 20 times easier than usual. Uh oh, Porka Puffer, look out for that motherfucker. I don't even know if a shell is powerful enough to kill that thing. Uh, I know for a fact that the common metal is underwater, and it's, I think it's, I think it's over here, actually, hold on. Yep, there it is, it's in that, uh, little giant-ass, little giant-ass hermit crab shell. <laughs> okay, let me get rid of a shell real quick so I can, uh, control myself a little bit easier. It's kind of cool how Mario, uh, puffs his cheeks when he's underwater, too, I like that. And there should be, there's the coin loom over there, if you, uh, couldn't tell. Uh, that switch over there we actually need to hit because that'll freeze the lake, the lake, uh, front. Or the, uh, the top of the lake, actually. Uh, okay. It's kind of cool, though. See, it only freezes the top, but, uh, everything else, it's, like, one of those situations where it just freezes the top. But, uh, everything else is still, like, moving underwater. See, that penguin's still moving. That jellyfish is still moving. I, I like that. It's a cool effect. But all the, uh, enemies at the top are frozen, like the water spiders and shit. And we can actually, uh, skate backwards if we hit Z, which is kind of cool. We can spin, do a little figure skating triple jump. Pyaw! Clear! Clear! <laughs> Alright, but like I said, this is... It's so short. All you have to do is just press that button. You could skip the comment if you wanted to, if you're just going that fast. Okay. Mario, stop skating. Stop skating. I, like, literally wasn't even holding the control stick and he kept skating. Alright, you just have to ju wall jump on these waterfalls and the star, the star is, like, right there. See? Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna cling on right there. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Such an easy, quick star, you know, speedrunners could probably do the, do this mission in, like, under a minute, honestly. It's really quick. But we got our star. Da -da -da. Doom. All right, we're back here in uh, Cosmic Cove Galaxy, and we're going to go to Exploring the Cosmic Cavern. This, uh, the beginning of this mission is uh, pretty tutorial-based because they're teaching you the swim controls. Because you don't, you don't get a shell in this level. Because the shell, it, like, automatically dives you down, and you don't even have to, like, hit A or anything. You just have to move the control stick. But uh, what, this is what I really like about this. The, the, uh, the, yeah, the lake is still frozen from when we last came here. That's a, that's a really nice touch. It's almost like, oh, our, our little mark has been, a uh, little mark has been shown. You know, I like that a lot. Uh, but we got the, uh, little, the little burrs. I think these things are called burrs. You have to, uh, spin into them, and then, uh, you have to spin right near them, and then, uh, kick them. And I think if they roll around enough in an icy environment, they can go back to their uh, former state. So you're going to want to be quick and killing those little guys. God, I love skating backwards. Clay! Yahoo! <laughs> Mario, go to the Olympics, man. You're a freaking beast. Ah. Oh, ground pound. Wee! Slidey slide! Yay! Boom. See, and these penguins are going to, like, teach us stuff about swimming. Swim fast with A. See, like that. This, uh, majority of this level is, kind of, is uh, 2D, which is kind of nice. I like that a lot. They used 2D a lot more in this game than they did in the first game. But I think I feel like they used uh, the gravity mechanic a lot more in the first game, though. Which is... Eh. 
but whatever. I love this music, though. This is this isn't one of my f more favorite galaxies, but I love the music here. The music here is so good. It's so fucking peaceful. It's like it's kind of like Noki Bay, you know. It's one of those uh, soundtracks where you can just listen. You can like l listen to it while falling asleep or something like that. I just like it a lot. Oh yeah, I didn't know. I uh, forgot to mention this. Also, you can uh, spin underwater. It uh, gives you a little bit more of a speed boost, and you need to use it when hitting switches like that as well. So yeah. Oh shit, eel, eel, run, run fast, fast, fast. I'm tapping as fast as I can. My thumb's starting to hurt. I'm starting to get carpal tunnel. Shit. He's coming up. God, those things are creepy as hell. Look at their fucking eyes, dude. Those things are bulgy eyed as hell. <laughs> or bug eyed, I should say. My lord. Ugh. A little uh, mini jellyfish. I'm pretty sure you can kill those things with a shell, but we don't have a shell. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I gotta, I gotta start spinning some more. Mario's swimming slow as shit right now. Oh, Goomba. I like how you can, like, poke your head out of the water like that. Oh, wait. I wanna jump. I can't... I can't jump? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes if you hit A and the, uh, up on the control stick at the same time, you can jump and it wasn't letting me unless I am pressed against the ledge like that. Alright, then. I wish that was possible, though. Those, like, bodies of water like that could move. That'd be so cool to, like, swim in something like that. That'd be so fucking cool to, like, swim in, like, a floating body of water. I may- I don't even know- is that possible? Like, maybe if you were, like... Maybe if you were in space? I don't know. I gotta start saying- I gotta stop- I gotta stirp saying like so much. I'm starting to sound like an idiot. Alright. And, uh, uh, I also gotta apologize for this also. When I- when I, uh, did the, uh, chimp challenge, I called it, uh, cloud- I called Fluffy Bluff Cloudy Court Galaxy AGAIN. And it, I'm just, like, ashamed of myself because I corrected myself right before going into the mission. And then when I finished the mission in, like, less than two minutes, I called it Cloudy Court again. I gotta stop doing that, you know? It's fucking... Because there's another galaxy in World 3 that's very, very similar to Fluffy Bluff called Cloudy Court Galaxy. So that's why I call it Cloudy Court because they both have the same music. You both get Cloud Flower in them. The environment itself is different, but still, you know, it just had me fucking confused. But anyways, right here, there's the power star right there. We're gonna have to use the spin drill in this little section. And, uh, those are new enemies. These guys were, uh, in Mario 3D World also, but they were squares that, uh, look sort of triangle-shaped. Uh, I don't know what we have to go in here. I don't know which, uh, thing we have to go into. Um, I think it might be this long one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I was, I was close, I was close, I was close, I was close, I was close. Okay, sorry about that. I just got interrupted, uh, but <clears throat> let's try over on this side. This might be it. No? Really? We're, like, in line with it. I don't... Hold on. Okay, then. Call me baffled, but... Wow. What? How? We literally... <sighs> Let me try smack dive in the middle. There we go. Okay. I knew I was on the right one, but jeez. Okay, one of these little, uh, Mecha- Mecha Koopas has the key, so we have to kill all of them. And we can kill them with the spin drill, so... Or we can kill them with the ground pound if we ended up losing the spin drill, which is nice. Oh, that one had the key. It didn't, like, do a little, like, mini cutscene thing when the key appeared, so I couldn't tell. And that reveals, and this'll, uh, flood the area once we drill into it, so... Bada-bing, bada-boom! There we go. Oh, no, geysers! I like that. It kind of looks like Saturn now. <laughs> With the, uh, with the ring? It's nice. I like it. <clears throat> Gee, what the hell is wrong with me? Coughing a lot. But we got our second power star in Cosmic Cove Galaxy. Swag. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, yo, yo. Uh-oh, but we got something. Looks like somebody is aboard the ship now. Who could it be now? Da -da 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 -da. Who can it? Who can it? Who can it be now? Yeah, yeah, who can it? Okay, I gotta stop. Okay, Penguin came on board. Well, he seems to have want a word with you. You know what? I might as well talk to him. I never talked to the Star Bunny, so... Might as well talk to the Penguin. What you got for us? He's probably just gonna give us, like, a tip on swimming. Yep, shake to burst of speed in swimming. Yep, I already knew that. Mentioned that already, Mr. Penguin. But, uh, I'm going to go back into Cosmic Cove because we need to go to the Coin Luma for, uh, mission one to do the, uh, secret mission there, so I will see you guys back there.
Alright, we're back, and, uh, I guess I'll just try to collect the coins along the way so I can just give you first-time players a, 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 uh, some helpful tips on where to get some of the coins, I guess. Uh, there might be some up here, actually, yeah. You know what, let me ditch the shell so I can get those up here. Fucking cheap, cheap, get the fuck out of here. You should maybe do a backflip, no, I'm great, no, I'm fucking up with my, my movement, alright. Uh, I think that might be everything for the surface. You actually also can jump on Cheap Cheeps if I do this right. Let me... Why did you do a backflip, Mario? Long jump. And there we go. So you can kill Cheap Cheeps or you can hit him with a shell, either or. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, where... Okay, I was gonna say, there's a shell. I actually need a shell now. Goddamn. All right. Okay, there we go. Why, why wasn't he moving for a sec there? He kind of just stood there, but was turning. It was really weird. Alright. Let me grab all these. I think there's a uh, giant question mark coin. Yep, there's one. Which will uh, give us a trail of coins that we can collect. So let's try to get them all. Let's not miss them. Come on. There we go. Boom. Alright, I'm going to get all the bubble coins as well. I'm almost positive that this Luma only wants 15. So, you know what? Let me kill this guy. Because we can kill him with a shell. Or maybe it takes more than one. My fault. Um, there's another. There's another uh, coin bubble. If he wants 20 by any chance... Shit. Fucking water spider. Uh, where's the platform? It's all the way over there. If he wants 20 by, some, by any chance, then I'll just freeze the lake and get all the ones that are uh, on the platforms or ones that are uh, near frozen wa mini waterfalls. But uh, let's just find out. Yep, he only wants 15. Alright, so we're good. Just, just over enough. Yes, I've got a huge coin craving right now. Again, weird ass craving. That's the stuff. Oh, I'm so full. I think I'm gonna transform again. I like that little jingle that he gives right before he transforms. It's nice. But it uh, looks like a water planet with a bunch of holes in it. God, I love, I love pink lobsters. They're just so cool looking. And they leave a little pink, tr they leave a little pink trail also, which is nice. But, uh, got a checkpoint right here. What we're gonna have to do is try to catch the star bunny. Uh, think you can catch me, Boing. I'd like to see you try it, Boing. He's really, really hard to catch when it's, uh, water. But if you press this button and change it to ice, he's a lot easier to catch and you can, uh, skate to get him. So he's much easier. It, just be careful, though. Okay, we got him all the way. But I was gonna say, though, be careful because the craters... Uh, if you fall into the crater, you fall into the black hole and it's an instant death. And it's a little bit harder to control yourself. Uh, when you're skating, so just be wary with that. But we got all the, uh, stars we can get right now for Cosmic Cove, so that's, uh, pretty awesome. <sighs> Not even bad, 22 stars. Oh, we got Galaxy Complete also. We're almost at 1k star bits as well. Okay, we're back at the world map because I want to call in this, uh, this Luma right here, we, who we have, uh, more than enough star bits for. He only wants 700, we almost have 1,000. Because this guy will take us to the, uh, Hidden Galaxy, which will, uh, offer us one of my more favorite power-ups from the, in the Galaxy series. So let's just give him our star bits. There you go, sir. Oh, I'm so full. God, he's so fucking fat. Honestly, Starbits look good. It's like one of those uh, situations. Starbits honestly kind of look tasty to me. I, I can see them as food. It's kind of one of those situations where uh, you kind of want to eat a Krabby Patty out of SpongeBob. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. I think you, I feel like you, you guys have wanted to eat Krabby Patties before, right? Right? I'm not the only one. I hope. But uh, right here is our new galaxy, Honey Bloom Galaxy. And this is why I like this galaxy because it offers us uh, a returning power up from Galaxy One. Bumble begins. See, there it is, right there, right at the corner. The bumble, or the uh, the bee mushroom, where we get to be uh, bee Mario. I like this power up a lot. It's a uh, similar to Cloud Mario, where you can actually the the way there uh, these this power up and Cloud Mario are similar because you can uh, both power ups allow you to uh, walk on clouds, which is nice. <laughs> There actually is a hidden star in here also. As you can see, it's a 
right up there, that pathway, as you can see when I uh, flung up um, enough with the swing, that little ladder. Uh, you can actually get up there, just have to uh, wall jump, but I'm not going to go there just yet because that's the hidden star. I want to get the main star first. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here, actually, so thank God. I like this music, though. It's nice. Oh, there's the bee mushroom! Already! This is kind of a, a longer mission, though, I'd say. But there we are. Look at him. <laughs> it looks like he's about to be ascended into heaven. <laughs> yeah, and we transformed into bee Mario. Hold A to buzz around. So you can hold A uh, to get height, and if you tap A, it's better for distance. So that's basically how the, uh, the bee suit works. I like it a lot. And we uh, make a little uh, buzzing sound effect when we uh, buzz around. It's like... This is the only bee I'm actually not scared of. I'm terrified of bees in real life. My lord. Uh, those enemies right there, I forget what they're called. I think they're called like helicopter ducks or, so or something like that. They have, uh, <laughs> they have spiked helmets. I don't know. But I don't, think you I don't think it's possible to kill them at all. Maybe if you like threw a shell at them. But I don't think there's any shells in any missions that they're in. So I think they're basically indestructible. So, be wary for those guys, because there's a lot of them in this, in this level. Okay, try to grab all the star bits. Yeah, there's so many. It's hard. And there's, that star over there is actually the uh, secret mission star over there in that tree. So, we can't get over there just yet, but that's uh, where it is, if you, in case you were wondering about the crap. I think we might get a clap if we get all these coins. And uh, coins can also replenish your uh, flight bar if you're uh, low on uh, flight. So there we go. It kind of clap, and we got a one-up. Not even bad. Woohoo! Round of applause. Thank, thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank the academy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, these little fruits. What the fuck? Oh, seriously? That's real nice. That's that's real nice. That's real nice. Literally had no control over Mario whatsoever right there. Zero. Zero, zero control. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to replenish our height flight bar and get all the way on top of this berry in order to make any type of fucking progress. Because that's a stupid thing. And uh, you also can't uh, hop on those berries either if you're regular Mario, if you, as, you, as you saw, because I went right through that shit. <laughs> but thank God there was mine there. I thought I was gonna get screwed. Uh-oh, fuzzies. Fuzzies are indestructible also. Fuzzies are back. And they're leaving like a trail of shit behind them too. Yeah. God, this this music brings back so much nostalgia from playing the first game. I love it. Pyo! I love swings too. Yay! Starbits galore. This area is so starbit heavy. I love it. It's so hard to grab all of them though. God damn it! And the sensor bar fucked up there, so I couldn't get that little section. Ah. We're just about done. I think we're coming out of the homemade stretch. See, this is a really long level, as I said. Uh, these things try to home in on you and predict where you're gonna go, so be wary for them. Okay, duck, 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 duck. Okay, maybe I didn't need to duck. I misinterpreted how far they could go. And, uh, these things don't stay on them too long or they're gonna try to suck you up as well. Alright, let's fly over this guy. Oh god, I just I just thought of tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna suck. I just the the thought of Monday just went in my head because uh the underclassmen are still doing uh, standardized tests. I don't know if I mentioned this already in one of my videos, but uh, underclassmen are still doing standardized tests until uh right before PAX, right before I leave for PAX. I think. Okay, jeez, I had to get my health bar back or my flight bar back. And uh, the way the schedule works is it's really really stupid, like. Uh, you know what, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll continue my story after, uh, we get this power star. Yay! Okay, we're back in Honey Bloom Galaxy because we need to do the secret mission, but, uh, like I was saying, the way the schedule works is for, like, the first day of the standardized testing, you'd have period one, then a ten minute passing time, then you'd go back to period one, and then go period two, so on and so forth, and then, uh, those period then uh, when you go back to period one the second time every period after that would be a half hour but the first time you go to really okay but the first time you go to a uh, first period uh it's uh over an hour the period is over an hour so you uh and then uh the second day of standardized testing you start are you fucking serious are you really okay 
But, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I cannot tell my story while playing the game, apparently. But, um, the second day you'd start off with period two, and then and that would be an hour, and then you'd go back to period one, and then go back to period two. Then you go to period one, then go back to period two again. And I don't have a period one or a period two. So, the first two days of the standardized testing, I didn't have to go in until 10.30, which was uh, really, really nice. But... Now that I do have a period of three, though, which really sucks, and it's graphics, so Monday, I have to go in period three. I have to go in the, at regular time, 7.30, so I have to get up at, like, 6. Then I am at, in graphics, which we literally don't do shit in. I'm in there for an hour. But, uh, hold on, let me just read this text. Looks like we got we have a bee on board. Keep it away from me. I'm, I'm allergic. If I get stung, I'll swell right up. You're already fat as hell. But we got a bee on board. He's probably just gonna tell us tips about the bee suit. But uh, anyway, I have fucking graphics that period. So I have graphics for an hour, and then I'm basically... Then we have the 10 minute passing time, and since I don't have a period one or two, I'm basically just in school for an... Uh, just sitting there for an hour doing nothing, and then I have to go back to graphics, and then I have the day there. So it's just gonna be ass, you know? And Tuesday's gonna be even worse because I start off with math and then I have no period one or two, so I'm sitting there for an hour. And then I don't have a period six or seven on Tuesday, so I'm sitting there again for an hour. It's just, it's just ass, you know? I mean, I already got my two good days out of the way because the I, our period one and two days uh, already passed for the standardized testing, you know? I'm sorry if I'm not really explaining this that well, but it's just, it's, it's, it is really a confusing schedule. But we're actually doing our... We're going to be finishing up World 2, going to Bowser here. Bowser's big lava party. Don't think I mentioned this already, but if I have, I'm sorry. Uh, every uh, odd world, like worlds 1, 3, 5, are Bowser Jr. bosses. And all the even numbers are uh, Bowser bosses. So 2, 4, and 6 are Bowser. And uh, 1, 3, 5 are Bowser Jr. So this is Bowser. <laughs> oh, Pulse Stars. Have we even... Uh... I don't think we've used pole stars yet, have we? I don't think so. <laughs> Hashtag Mario 64 music right here. Slightly remixed. Okay, I'm gonna try to get that. Let me let me see if I can get that uh, life shroom. And there we go, beautiful. Because we're gonna be fighting Bowser, so I need to. Oh shit, that was close. We're gonna be fighting Bowser, so I might as well get that. And I see my cat needs to get out of the room because the door is shut. I'll let her out after I finish this recording because this recording is going to be done soon anyway. Uh, be careful with these guys because they uh, they flip on you. So be careful. And Hammer Bros! These guys take two hits. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Oh, yep, they do take two hits. Even a jump. Even they take two jumps. So you can just spin on them and then jump on them. Or spin, spin, jump, jump, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, again. Whatever you want to refer to it as. Okay, fuck those coins. I don't need them. But there's Womps over there. Womps uh, made a return. They weren't in the first game, which is kind of a shame, because I love Womps. Womps are one of my more favorite... Yeah, that was close. That was kind of cool. I uh, timed my spin when I was uh, jumping over them. That was nice. Okay, let me get under Mr. Peter right here. He f They fall really fast in this game also, so be wary. It just takes one ground pound to kill him, though, as well. Um, Hold on. There it is. Okay. There's the comet metal. I almost forgot. I was like, where's the goddamn comet metal? Okay, good thing I was able to wall jump on him. He was kind of at a weird angle right there. I was just about to say, where's the comet metal? But it's right there. Thank God. And uh, we got a little uh, bit of a new mechanic uh, with the comets. These uh, meteors do a ground pound uh, into uh, little things to uh, open up gates, which is nice. And that's actually we're gonna, how we're going to be uh, killing Bowser. <laughs> Or, fighting Bowser, spoiler alert. Uh-oh, we got dry bone heads eating the floor! Be careful. See, there, you can actually see the black hole of death over there. Oh, we got the one-up by accident. My bad, didn't mean to... Didn't even try to get that. Uh, snake blocks. I hate snake blocks. It's kind of... It, they're actually kind of better in this game, though. Considering that they're a lot wider. But, still, don't like them. Oh, jeez. I was in the middle of long jump. That was close as fuck. Okay, we got another 
snake block. We're just about the home stretch right here. I think this might be the end. Uh, these guys, I think... Okay, I was gonna say, I thought they were gonna blow fire, but it's just electric... Electric wires, or electric, uh, currents. Uh, fucking hammer bros. Jeez, look out. There's two of them. Oh, I did... Oh, come on. I jumped on him. Ah. I would have hit him the first time, but a stupid hammer got in the way and I actually ended up killing his hammer instead of him. Piece of shit. Get in the fire. Guy. I just said guy instead of die. My bad. They, look, this, that is the third life room they gave us here. My god. Uh, we gotta kind of aim our, uh, our shots right here, so... Le top left corner. That was way too high. Oh my lord. Okay. The, the aiming is kind of weird. Hold on. Let me, let me try again. Is that good? Okay. Barely. It's really weird. I mean, it's really easy to shoot, like, smack dab in the middle, but aiming, like, to the corners and stuff is kind of weird with it. Oh my god, that looks ominous as hell. Eek. And I think we might have a cutscene coming up, so I might need to shut my mouth. Yep. Huh? Whoa, you showed up. God, Bowser is massive. Look at you, running around like a little flea in a puny planetoid. You know what isn't puny? My massive new power, the power to flatten you like a space pancake. Mario looks mad as hell. Master Loom is like, nah, nah, it's okay, it's okay, I'm here. Get confidence, man. Ruh! There he is. Oh my lord, he is massive. My god. And he's so big, he doesn't even need to stand. He can just float. But uh, be careful right here because he's going to be shooting the meteorites. And those will turn into the meteorites we can use to hit him. See, right there. You just gotta aim it properly. Okay, I actually got him right there. Sometimes if you, uh, hit him in his shell, it won't count as a hit. So, you gotta, you gotta aim it properly. It looked like it was gonna hit his shell there, but apparently it didn't. Okay, sometimes he can breathe fire also. I don't know if he's gonna breathe fire in this fight or not. That might, that might not be until, like, World 4. I'm not totally sure, but he might, he might. Uh... Okay. Come on, Bows. Come on, Bows. Come on, Bows. Come on, Bows. Oh, yep, yeah, he is breathing fire. I was right. Eeh, that was close. And his fire can't activate the comets, unfortunately, or the meteors. I don't know what the... F whatever the fuck you want to call him. Okay, let's have him right here because... Oh, jeez, that was close. Because his fist can't actually break the comets. Oh, that was right in the face. So you, uh... <laughs> you want to be careful where you want him to place his fist. Okay, I think only... I think one more hit should do it. Jeez, 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 his fire, his fire, his fire's gonna... Ooh, that was close. That was so close. Uh, his fire. Okay, let's have his fist go right over here. There we go. Oh. I love how he just is like... Whoa! And there we go. Rarg. Now I remember why you're my arch nemesis. You're so annoyingly hard to squash. Good thing I win anyway. Ha! While I've been playing, I've been playing. My master plan <laughs> has moved on to the next phase. Tough luck, Mario. So he's not defeated yet. He's out. He just disappeared in the, out of the air. That was awesome. But look at that. We got our second grand star. <laughs> Look at that. Let's grab that. Portal to the next world has opened up, and I cannot wait to get to World uh, World Three. World Three is definitely one of my more favorite ones. This is when my this is when uh, I'm gonna start having like a lot more fun. You know, World Three, Four, and Five are easily my favorite. So the next worlds in a row are gonna be really enjoyable for me. You fought a giant monster and then you turned tail and ran off, right? Well then, let's go on after him. With the power of this Grand Star, we can keep going through time and space, no problem. So it sounds like your special one is still with that monster, eh? Well, let's not sit around again, getting or older. Let's get going, Captain. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, an entirely new world. Looks like the path splits up ahead. Hey, don't look at me, Captain. The Captain makes the choices, am I right? Well, did you just break the fourth wall? Not even bad. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, though. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if, if you enjoyed, and subscribe to be updated on future uploads. And next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to be starting one of my more favorite worlds, World 3. And we actually have uh, even Starbits and coins. Wow. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.